It's something most of us take for granted. You turn on the tap, fill a glass of water, and have a nice refreshing drink. But what if that water has been deemed too contaminated to consume? It's something residents of the Rensselaer County Village of Hoosick Falls are dealing with right now as they try to determine how best to move forward and to make their water drinkable again. We've always seemed to have a higher incidence of cancer here than other places. Dr. Martin Martinez has been practicing medicine in the village of roughly 5,000 since 2002. It just seems like we've always had higher incidence of prostate cancer, thyroid cancer, you know, kidney cancer. We, we've always seemed to have a lot more than, than what would seem to be the national average. He wasn't the only one to notice. Michael Hickey, a lifelong resident of Hoosick Falls, lost his father to kidney cancer in 2013, a disease which he says his family has no history and his father's lifestyle didn't seem to trigger. Hickey says he started looking around. And it was really a, a random Google search. And then I looked at uh, St. Gobain, which um, my father worked at, and they had, you know, PTFE, Teflon. Um, and I came across the, the C8 panel and the first one that pops up on the list is kidney cancer. So at that point, you know, that's what my dad had. But what is PFOA? A brief chemistry lesson. PFOA stands for perfluooctanoic acid, or C8. What isn't known is how long residents have been ingesting the chemical. So Hickey reached out to EPA Region 2 District Administrator, Judith Think. Once they got involved, it was, you know, in October, she kind of stepped in uh, in the last, really, month and has kind of uh, expedited the process to where we are today. After confirming Hickey's findings of PFOA levels at 600 parts per trillion, the EPA sent a letter to the mayor in November of 2015 saying residents should not be drinking the public water. Two weeks later in December, the village told residents not to drink the water. Our aquifer is poisoned. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there a period of time known that that will clean itself up, or is that permanent? We don't have all the answers at this point. No one is pretending that we do. But we want to try and put in place something that we're very confident will, in fact, work. I'm this sorry, is no. not a conspiracy. We are trying... I'm just asking a simple question. Yes, you are. And I'm telling you that I do not recall that. In the interim... Hoosick Falls residents have all been allotted five free gallons of bottled water to be picked up at the local Topps grocery store. So who's footing the bill? St. Cobain Performance Plastics. The plant is located just a few yards away from Hoosick Falls water treatment facility. Both St. Cobain and the plant's prior owners used PFOA in their manufacturing for decades, although St. Cobain says they stopped using it more than 10 years ago. The official source of the contamination still has yet to be determined. Uh, we want to find the source of the pollution. We want it cleaned up. We want public health protected. And we are in a position to use either federal Superfund or the Safe Drinking Water Act or other federal laws that allow us to take action to protect communities like Hoosick Falls. To ease some of the public's concerns and get everyone up to speed on the situation, Healthy Hoosick Water, a grassroots organization, held a public meeting with the EPA. Do not cook with the water from the Hoosick Falls public water supply. Do not use water from the Hoosick Falls public water supply for humidifiers. Use the bottled water. Still, Inc. says the situation is not entirely irredeemable. The good news here, if there is any, is that there are treatment technologies in the short term that can deal with the existing uh, uh, drinking water plant so people don't have to schlep five gallons of bottled water every day to their homes, although it's nice that it is available to the residents at no cost. But long term, we've got to find the source of the pollution, and that's that's going to take some time, and that will be the focus of the EPA investigation. And we know how to handle sites like this. The technology that Hoosick Falls Village Board approved to address the contaminated water is a granulated activated carbon, or GAC filtration system, manufactured by Calgon Carbon. Like the bottled water, St. Cobain has agreed to foot the installation fee. We know that the GAC filters are effective, extremely effective in stopping uh, the PFOA or in anything that size, when you're talking one parts per trillion, that is so small, but these filters can stop that. Still, Healthy Hoosick Water accuses St. Cobain of setting the PFOA removal level at 20 parts per trillion, 
while the group says GAC treatment systems in other communities have lowered PFOA levels to one or two parts per trillion, and they want that level. In the meantime, Hoosick Falls residents will continue to pick up their bottled water as they wait to find out how well the GAC systems will work. Michael Hickey, whose initial inquiry led to the contamination findings, says he doesn't see himself as the local hero many herald him as. I don't really feel that way. Um, really, it was kind of for my dad and, and doing the right thing for the community as a whole. In a statement, St. Cobain says, since we were first made aware of this situation more than a year ago, our focus has been working with the village of Hoosick Falls and the appropriate state and federal government agencies to find solutions. St. Cobain Performance Plastics is committed to helping the village of Hoosick Falls with this situation. Our employees live and work here, and our top priority is doing the right thing for Hoosick Falls. Meanwhile, a class action lawsuit on the part of village residents is being considered. In Hoosick Falls, I'm Jenna Flanagan. For New York Now.